even be surprised that a pastor will say that we all have messages. There are those who teach success. There are those who teach healing. Don't castigate somebody. There are those who teach prosperity. Because every time they'll be preaching prosperity. That's what he's sent to preach. You face your home. That the church is like a market. Some people are selling spare parts. Some people are selling brush for paint. You know, in the market, there are different stalls. There are those who sell spare parts. There are those who sell iron rod. There are those who sell cement. Every customer goes to where he has the good being sold. No, it's not a market. Everybody doesn't have his own. We have one. Fathers can talk to themselves at a level. We ourselves, we understand what we are talking. It's you people that don't understand. And we, we understand. I don't know if you understand. Okay, let me give you an illustration. Not long ago, and um, I, I, will, I, will, I will not call names, but I will illustrate. Not long ago, they had a conference in Abuja, and they teamed up to attack me. The whole conference was to attack me. And they brought speakers at that level so that all of them can rush. One of them even came as ministries like a market where you have spare part, paint, brush. Eh? All that was to get at me. Are you following? When they finish, me, I can't answer them. I say ministry and church is not a market. We have one message. And my reply finished all of them. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I came in from Johannesburg, South Africa. I got to the airport and I'm sitting in the lounge with you. Was it with you? He was not with you. Me alone. So I'm sitting in the business lounge. And the first thing is, one of them came into the business lounge and saw me. Hey, Dr. Delmina, so good to see you. I stood up, I said, so good to see you, sir. How are you? He said, you're causing trouble everywhere. I said, what trouble am I causing? And he couldn't say the trouble. Then he said, we need to go back to Washington, D.C. so you can preach for me again like we did before. When we finished talking, he went back to his seat. I'm sitting on my seat. Then that one that said church is market entered the lounge. I didn't see him. He entered and sat down. Then a few minutes he stood up. Dr. Damien, I didn't know you were here. My PA told me you're here. I just came to greet you. So me too, I stood up. I said, ah, it's wonderful to meet you today, man of God. We greeted warmly and laughed. Then he went back to his seat and came back and said, they've announced my flight. Now, I don't know whether I should follow you to Uyo or I should go to Abuja. I'm confused. I said, sir, go to Abuja. Me, I'm coming to Abuja. When I come, we will see. He said, make sure we see. If you come to Abuja, you don't see me, it will be a scene. And we hugged. He left and I left. You people think we are fighting. No, we are not fighting. We are speaking in a language that we understand. It's a communication. Because if you misbehave in public... I will correct you in public because we don't want people to be misled. I don't know if you understand. No, we're not, we're not fighting. No. Uh -uh. We are talking to ourselves because some of the madness happening is my generation and the generation before me that caused it. So we must correct it so that those under us will not suffer what we suffered. I don't know if you understand. That's a simple one. You said something like unbelief, that those who don't believe will still go. Then, and I said, okay, if unbelief is sin, and Jesus Christ took sin, did Jesus Christ take unbelief out of the world? No, he didn't take unbelief. Because unbelief is not an item. Unbelief is your response. Faith is your response. Unbelief is your response. One positive, one negative. Thank you very much, sir. Bless you.